Today was one of the busiest days on the entire high school sports calendar as teams across Vermont began their quest towards raising a state championship banner. Welcome to the NBC5 Sports Desk. I'm Noah Searson. Baseball starting off hot with a Chittenden County rivalry in Division One. South Burlington, the two seed, hosting Burlington at South Burlington High School. Shortstop Andre Buffard warming up pregame. He's brought the pop with his bat all season. That's what the Seahorses were doing early, but Nick Kelly able to get out of it in the top of the first. Curveball and a strikeout to get the Wolves out of a jam. Bottom of the first. After an Andre Buffard single, he swipes second base using his speed instead of his power. Four pitches later, doing it again to get to third. He'd eventually make it home on an error, setting the tone for a big 11-1 win. Wolves moving on to the quarterfinals. 8-9 matchup in Colchester. Lakers hosting St. Johnsbury Academy. And it was all about that man right there, Zach Davis, dealing. Fanning Griffin Kimball there in the top of the sixth. And then in that same frame, Cage Thompson, a very similar fate. Davis ends with a complete game, 11 strikeouts with only four hits and one run allowed. Also taking a no-hitter into the fifth inning. Lakers going to win this one 7-1. to one. Davis putting the state on notice as he says his squad can compete with anyone. Even though we're, we're an eight seed, we're 9-7, and seven, I think a lot of people in the state would agree that we are better than our record. And that um, just being in games with everyone is something that we've really remembered throughout the whole season. And as we've gone on, I'd definitely say we've gotten better. And we just have a lot of momentum right now. So Lakers travel to Hinesburg on Friday, taking on the top-seeded CVU Redhawks. That one's going to be a fun one. All chalk so far other than that, though. 14th seed at Essex. Led Mount Anthony twice in the seventh inning or later earlier today. Patriots clutching up, though helping them survive in a 7-6, 9-inning battle.